Unusual Bee Works here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how you can make this no drown bee feeder at home for less than $20 with common hand tools. Anybody can build this at home for less than $20. Let's get started. All right, guys, so all you're gonna need to build this is a bucket. So this is a five gallon bucket, easiest to find with the lid. Make sure you have the lid. You're also gonna have to have some sort of dish or pan that the five gallon bucket can sit into. So you can choose to go with a smaller bucket, two gallon, one gallon, just whatever your preference. Or if you choose five gallon, this is the tray I went with by Omega Industrial. It's a three gallon galvanized tray. Okay, so this is as simple and as easy as possible, okay? So you need the five gallon bucket with a lid, you need the tray, and then you need some gravel. So you might have gravel laying around the house that you can scoop up and put in here. And so you might not even have to buy this. So this is the majority of your cost. I think I paid $13 for the pan and then a five gallon bucket's like five bucks. So you probably have that at home too. The only tool that you're gonna need is a drill and that's a one eighth inch drill bit. Okay, well let's get started. Not sure how I can drill this and film at the same time. Uh, like I said in an earlier video, I am working on getting equipment, tripod and whatnot, so I can film this while I work. However, you just kind of want to drill a few holes around the bottom of your bucket. So I'm going to drill maybe about one hole per every couple inches, and then we'll go from there. Okay, and as you see here, I have drilled multiple holes just around the base of the bucket. So you don't want it to be too low because there is this lip edge underneath the bucket. So you want it to be just above that lip edge and you can kind of see the crease right there. That is all. That is all the work that you have to do. And I know that everybody out there doesn't have a, a power drill of some sort. I'm lucky enough to where I have, or fortunate enough, blessed enough to where I'm able to have power tools, but I know everybody doesn't have power tools. So a way that you can do this without power tools is take a hammer just like this one here and you want a nail so I don't have a nail lying around but I do have a screw so hold your nail right at the bottom and hammer that into your bucket and you can do that all the way around that's if you don't have access to power tools and drill bits and whatnot so I just want to make sure everybody out there has an opportunity to build this okay now that I have the holes drilled I've got an air hose here and I'm actually just gonna blow the plastic out from inside that drilled out. Like I said, not everybody has one of these. Not everybody has access to a, uh, an air compressor. So if you don't, just uh, run some water through your bucket and, uh, and try to get all those plastic pieces out. So there's not necessarily a right way or a wrong way to do this part, but I've just made a little stand here for it. Just find you somewhere fairly level, fairly close to your hives that you can set this up at. All I've used is two cinder blocks and that I've just had laying around the house and a board I cut it up that I had laying around the house. So this was free to me. You might not have this stuff at home. So just somewhere that you could set this that's fairly level. You wanna make sure that your bucket is in the center of your pan. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but just somewhere near the center. And you wanna make sure that it's somewhat level. If you're happy with where it's at and how level it is, it's time to add the gravel. Once you've added your gravel, you're done. And so to fill it up, all you do is you lift this lid and you add your sugar water. And it'll seep through the holes into the gravel, into the pan, and it's a cheap, easy, DIY, anybody could build this at home. No drown bee feeder. Like I said, I've got less than $20 in this. A lot of this stuff you probably have around the house already. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you probably have an old five gallon bucket. You probably have some gravel and all you might have to buy is a pan. So you could easily get out of this with, you know, 13, $14 and have a five gallon, no drown bee feeder at home. Okay, and once I added my sugar syrup, I had to add a little bit more gravel. So you want your sugar syrup to be just below your gravel. 
So that way the bees can land on the gravel, drink the sugar syrup and fly off without getting stuck. If you're new to this and you've never made sugar syrup, whenever you make it, make sure that you do it at least one to one, one sugar to one water, whether that's one cup, one quart, at least do it one to one. This is two to one, two sugar to one water. So the more sugar, the better. However, you do want it to hold in solution. So this is two part sugar to one part water and you boil it until it becomes translucent. Once it becomes translucent, it's done and it's ready and you can let it cool and give it to the bees. There it is guys, an easy at home DIY, anybody can build this bee feeder for less than $20. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. It's the best way to show YouTube that you enjoyed this content. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.